ծանցության եւ ծանր բահերին քեզ եմ հիշում դու իմ վահանես իսկ ես քովեկան հաղթանակի Good afternoon. So good to be here with you today to share these few moments together. Let's begin as we always do by proclaiming our faith in the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you, everyone who is out there. Because today we celebrate not only mothers, we celebrate the concept of motherhood. And sometimes in our families we have men who have become mothers. Unfortunately, because of the situation that they're in, they brought their very special blessings upon their family. So today, let's focus on motherhood. And whether you've had your mother is alive right now, whether she's passed away, whether you've had a good relationship with your mother or perhaps a difficult relation a challenging relationship with your mother you know that today is an opportunity for you to reflect about that very special love that can come that should come that does come and in many times unfortunately is looked for from a mother and that mother that mother's love is a very special love because it is an unconditional love let's talk about that a little bit today I want to share some ideas with you you know that in the armenian language everything that is very special to us that is very sac- sacred to us we fit with the name mother to it for instance our homeland hayastan is called mayr hayastan mother armenia Uh, our language is called Maireni Lezu, our mother tongue, our mother language. Uh, the, the center of the Armenian church is called Mayr Ator. In other words, the center, the throne of the Armenian church. And everything that is very special, that has a unique relationship with us, gets this, uh, this, this added degree upon it, okay? An added degree, and we call it the mother, the mother of all beauty out there. And I want to share with you some ideas today because it gives, today, Mother's Day is a perfect day to do that, right? Today is a day where we could just stop from all of the hustle and bustle and reflect on motherhood. Do you know what's very special about Mother's Day? Well, this is more in the olden days when people had a way of tracking phone calls. The most phone calls are made on Mother's Day. AT&T sent out this uh, beautiful statistic that the most, the most phone calls are made today on Mother's Day. That's nice. People calling up their mothers saying Happy Mother's Day. Do you know when the most collect calls were made? Collect, in other words, the person on the other end has to pay for it? You guessed it, on Father's Day. Now today I know there's not too many collect calls being made, but it's a truth, okay? Somehow fathers get the the, the other end of it. But that's what I want to talk to you also about today. It's not about mothers, it's not about fathers. It's about parenting, it's about loving, it's about cherishing, it's about honoring that concept of sacrificial love. When we are baptized in the Armenian church, there are selections that are read read from Holy Scripture. And one of the selections that is written is, comes to us from the book of Galatians. And in the book of Galatians, St. Paul, the author of this book, is talking about what we become when we put on the armor of Christ, what we become when we are baptized, when we become a new person in Jesus Christ. And he, he goes, let me share this with you. He says, before faith came, we were confined under the law kept under restraint until faith should be revealed so that the law was our custodian until Christ came that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a custodian. For in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God. For as many of you as were baptized in Christ, have put on Christ. Now listen to this. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. There is neither male nor female. We are all children of Christ. We are all children of God. 
How beautiful is that? I, and I offer this today, especially on Mother's Day, because we have an opportunity today to think of ourselves as children of God, to think of ourselves in the role of mother as well as father, in other words, as parent, for not only our children, but for all of responsibility, for all of the world. And I want you to think about it in these terms. God gives us life. God gives us this very sacred, sacred a gift. And that life not only includes the breath that we take, but to be responsible for all of the life around us, including the planet, including the ecology, including our children, including the welfare of others. And once we accept this as children of God, to understand that when we see someone else, when we see another child, when we see another person, when we see nature all around us and understand that it is all a reflection of God's love towards us. Then we have this very sacred duty as individuals to become the mothers, to become the fathers, to become the responsible parties for this world. Now motherhood is a very, very special, let's say a cushy kind of thing, right? Because we know that along with caring for things, there is like a nice little cushiness to it. It is sweet. It is reflective. There is a romantic thing to it. In fact, many times people will argue that even Mother's Day today has been created by the card companies, by the flower companies, opportunities for us to give flowers to one, one another, to send out cards. Now, that may be the case why Mother's Day is there, but you know that in the Armenian tradition, actually in the Armenian church, we used to have a Sunday called Mothering Sunday. Yes, and on that Sunday, guess where you went? You would do what is called an ucht, a pilgrimage. You would go to the church where you were baptized. Yes, on Mothering Sunday, you would go to the church where you were baptized as a pilgrimage. Why? Because the mother of us all is that church where we are born, the new font of baptism. In other words, the new opportunity to be born. Just as we are born from the womb of our mothers, we are born from the womb of the church, a second birth. And we see that we go to that church and we, we honor, we give thanks to God for that opportunity to live in eternity. Now, that being said, with all of that there, look how precious life is and look what we need to do as children of God, how we need to reach out, how we need to experience, not just with words, but with our actions, to be out there helping people, loving people, caring for people, but most importantly, having that respect for one another. You know, all of love begins with respect. If you respect somebody, it becomes easier to love that person. Definitely, it becomes easier to like that person, and that ultimately, that love that needs to be shared. Now, all of our mothers that we celebrate today at one time were girls. That's just the way things work, by the way. Girls, I know you're, you're out there, and I know how tremendously, how, what tremendous pressure there is on women today. Women to achieve, women to find them place, their, their place within the society that has been created by different elements, by different forces, by different reactions that come, uh, come about. Today there's a very simple message and it's the message of motherhood, the message of understanding yourself as a child of God, that God has put his breath within you. I know that within our streets right now, we have so, many, so much difficulty in definition, self-definition. We have girls that are out there on the streets that want to define themselves. There are issues of virginity just as there are issues of masculinity among men. There are ways of defining themselves. And we see that tragically in our, in our world today, in our society today, the people define themselves based on their sexuality as well. At Dativ Outreach, for instance, one of the ministries here at the Western Diocese, we see so many young girls, we see so many young families torn apart because this basic respect isn't there.
that respect needs to begin from all of us accepting that we are all one in Christ Jesus. There is neither male nor female. There is neither man nor woman. We are all children of God. Having that basic respect for one another allows us to see people in a very unique way, in a unique manner. In other words, we are all under the umbrella of God. We're all loved by God. And so if God loves us, how much more we, should, we need to love one another? Do you remember that in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, God does not, uh, does, does not cast his shadows, does not make it rain only on the bad people and, uh, and, and sunshine only on the good people. He gives the rain to everyone. He gives the sunshine to everyone. If God doesn't make those separations, why are you making those separations? And in the same way today, I'm asking you on this Mother's Day to look as yourself as a mother, to look as yourself as a parent, to see that parenting, to see that mother, to see that love in the eyes of your children, to see it in the eyes of your neighbors, of your friends. And realize that to get together today we have an obligation to mother, to parent, to our society, to our world. Our children, we sometimes say, are our most precious resources, are the future. Actually, they are today. They have an opportunity to teach us as well and take care of them. So I appeal to you today on this Mother's Day to become a true reflection of God's love in your life, in your family's life, in your community's life, by being the best that you can be, by taking God's love and manifesting it in the things that you do. God is with you. God has created you. God has created this entire world. God has created your neighbors. He has created your children. See the reflection of God in everything that you do and in everything that you touch. May God bless you. Happy Mother's Day. I look forward to being with you again next week. Until then, reminding you to give praise and glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.